guys. How's it going? Uh, I figured I was actually doing a water change on the turtle tank. And I figured I'd go ahead and give you guys a little video. Uh, simply for the fact, I actually had a lot of great comments where uh, my turtle tank, it's always crystal clear. It's actually never really ever dirty. Uh, well, the water doesn't seem dirty. Everything's, like I said, crystal clear. So I'm just actually just going to go ahead and show you guys the process that I do. This is how I keep my turtle tank crystal clear. Uh, as you see, I already drained the water out. I actually do like a weekly 80%, uh, yeah, a good 80% water change weekly on this tank. And it's been working for me. Do I suggest do a 80% water change on any other tank? Uh, actually, no, I do not. But being that it's a turtle tank, uh, big water changers are actually needed, I believe. And like I said, the water's drained out. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys the filters I have. It's just your simple, this is actually just a, like a 20 ground internal filter. And I just basically have a chunk of foam in here. This is it, that's all I run. Now this one here, it's a 10 gallon internal filter. Or wait now, I think this was like a possibly a 20, sorry. And I think that's a 40. And all I, I run carbon in this, activated carbon. And that's what I run in this one. Now these here, this is my Tetra 75. This tank here, uh, also, uh, just give me a second. As you see, this foam, uh, blocks of foam. Sorry for the noise. I'm actually going ahead doing a water change on the 55 while I'm doing this little video for you guys. And I clean this weekly. Uh, every single week I take all the foam blocks everything out of the, the tanks out of the filters I clean that as you guys can see it's pretty messy This has been a week's worth of waste for the turtle and the goldfish and That's essentially it guys. I uh, wipe the glass uh, the glass down every single week. I do a heavy gravel vac every single week 80% water change heavy gravel vac uh, three filters running, two with just foam blocks and uh, sponge blocks, and one with activated carbon. Uh, my lights on actually about 12 hours a day for the turtle. I do get a lot of algae on the rock, but honestly, that, that doesn't really bother me at all. Uh, I actually think algae is kind of beneficial to uh, to a nice established aquarium. Uh, it seems to help me out, like I said. Uh, now that's that's pretty much it for our video. I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys how my tank stays crystal clear, and I hope uh, some some of you guys actually found this helpful. If not, let me know. And just also want to show you guys a little something here that I noticed during the water change. Eh, great, a uh, little small endler for I again. These guys always breed in for me in this tank pretty sweet the turtle actually do not even bother these guys I I well actually I never seen them bother these guys I think the goldfish actually snack on these guys uh, but yeah that's a uh, this is it for my video guys I uh, hope you guys enjoyed like comment subscribe uh, let me guys let me know what you guys think thanks for watching uh, I just wanted to give you a little bonus clip just to show you uh, when I do water changes I highly suggest, well I use the python, and this is actually a little modification I made. Uh, I put a hose, uh, I add from the sun sun, added a piece here into my python hook, and added a bit of like sponge or something on the end, uh, the intake, wrapped it with uh, and a rubber band. And this is how I actually do most of my water changes that I don't gravel vac, I don't gravel vac every week, but this is what I actually do. and. It works great. I set it and forget it, and just I just check on the tank every few minutes to make sure everything's good. I don't have to worry about the fish. I don't have to worry about nothing. And it actually works pretty good. Like I said, where it'll drain the tank down to where this is, and it'll just actually stop. It's really handy. It drains about 40 40 percent of the tank, I would say, with this one here. Well, on this tank, anyways, but. That's just a little tip that I use. Like I said, the python hook with a rubber hose coming from it with sponge on the little intake. Shove it in, drain the tank. You don't have to worry about nothing. Thanks for watching, guys.